Well, the satellite image still shows a wet pattern. We do have the end of an atmospheric river passing over the top of a ridge off the coast. That's kind of helping it rain out before it comes to the coast. So they aren't really wet systems yet, but they are going to be getting wetter as we head towards the weekend. But of course, the key is we need to get those snow levels down. Now, how is that looking? Well, looking pretty good for today, that snow level down to about 4,000 feet in the Central Cascades. Still too high for the Snoqualmie Pass areas, but that is bringing snow to the base of Stevens and to Mount Baker ski areas, which is encouraging. We could pick up anywhere from, oh, maybe four to eight inches of snow at the bases of those two mountains, it looks like, here over the next 24 hours or so. But then the snow levels rise up on Friday, so we'll be seeing uh, rain into the base of uh, those areas, as well as all the ones from Snoqualmie Pass southward, though. Green Valley is actually at around 5,000 feet and up, so they'll be getting some snow there. We do drop back down to 4,000 feet on Saturday, which might be a good producer for those northern areas once again, and also for the upper portion of Crystal Mountain. As we head on into Sunday and Monday, we see those snow levels pop up fairly high, in five to 6,000 feet. We drop briefly to Tuesday, and then as we head into Wednesday, we're up around 7,000 feet again. So uh, again, that would be rain for most of the ski areas. Well, as we head past the middle of next week, there are some indications in the models where you might see some snow levels coming down a bit. In fact, might get down as low as the Snoqualmie Pass or is at 3,000 feet, so we might start to get some snow there as well, but we're going to have to wait until a little bit closer to be sure of that.